Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am going to share my watercolour pencils collection. So this video is not going to be as long as the coloured pencil collection because that was a two-parter because I have much less um, selection of watercolour pencils although I've still got a good range uh, in my view. I don't think I need any more really. I think I've got um, quite a fair number so I thought it's worth doing a video so Kitty says hello and let's get started so I'm going to start with some pencils which are not considered um, strictly watercolour pencils so these are the start from this end the ink tents so the ink tents are of course an ink in a pencil and they're just unique and recently as you know many of you will know that they had 28 new pencils uh, released to make the set from 72 to 100 um, and yeah I I mean there's some colours in the 28 that I do think were really needed but um, there were some that were fairly similar I believe so um, this is the swatch and uh, the asterisk basically means in the new 28 set so, um, a few colours, I mean I didn't do a video on this because there was plenty of videos on YouTube to choose from, um, but yeah, when I colour with them in a, some sort of a colour and chat or something, I will discuss what I think about the new colours, but like I said, some colours I think were too similar to the ones that we've already got, but there are some colours that are not, like this jungle green I think is quite nice quite different to what we had previously the lime green definitely is different mint leaf definitely different malibu definitely different a very quite a very light blue although i think the mineral blue and the green the mineral blue and the green aquamarine to my eye seem quite similar so yeah i think um i do like the dark browns that they've put in as well but yeah and then then some really nice grey here storm dust and this dark mink is definitely um, a lighter version I believe in my eyes anyway <laughs> compared to this bark so I think they go quite well together so yeah they are um, a gorgeous set I mean do I recommend them of course because they're just unique they're a unique sort of medium you lay them down and then if you activate them fully they will not reactivate with water so you won't be able to dissolve the pigment it's permanent uh, once it's down so you can see that these ones here are the new ones that I've got um, they are lovely they look lovely as well don't they they're just beautifully designed lovely dark blue and gold um, writing and they're clear as well you know the the writing's clear to to read so yeah ink tents not strictly watercolor pencils I know but um, I thought the best fit in this watercolour pencil collection and then I have these which I don't think I've got a swatch for actually because this is a small set I think it's 24 of the um, Kohinoor Mondaloos and um, they're all right I don't particularly use these um, hence no swatch as yet um, they are quite a small set that I've got I just think I got them to just try out I think I think I was um, in, at the lakes, I think, and I saw these in one of the shops being arty type shops. Uh, it wasn't a shop, actually. It was just like a, a stall and they had lots of arty type things and I just thought it would be nice to try them out. So they are nice. Uh, maybe I should try them out more because, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Those are those pencils. And then this is like one of my earliest cases for watercolour pencils. Um... And I'll show you what I've got in here. So I've got these. Um, I'm not sure I've got um, a swatch for these as well. A new swatch. I think I had a... I swatched them ages ago. Hang on a minute. Let's see. In a different swatch. Because I've been updating my swatches, you see. And So, yeah. Yes, I have, I think. Let me have a look. There we go. I used to do my swatches. A long time ago, I won't take it out of the sleeve. I hope you can see it though, and there's not too much reflection. Or should I just take it out? We just take it out. It's easier for you. 
Right, so let's just put this down a bit, it's a bit bright. So this is my Prisma, Pris, Caran d'Ache Prismalo Aquarelle 18. I bought these years and years ago when I first got into colouring. Um, and they are lovely, they're really nice pencils. Um, I'm not really sure if they're an artist grade or, or a student grade really, the Prismalos. Let me know in the comments if you do, do know. But yeah, those are some, some lovely colours, like this bluey green. This pink's quite nice as well. So, yeah, they are by Caran d'Ache, um, and I've got 18 of those. I've also got um, the Derwent Metallic Watercolour. Now, these are a bit... I don't know, have I got a swatch of them? They're a bit strange, I have to say. Um... They don't look metallic to me, you know, when you add the water, so they don't... Actually, let's have a look. I have got a swatch. But my memory is terrible and I forget. I mean, this was years ago, so you can forgive me a little bit. Um, that's the dry swatch of the Derwent Metallic Watercolours. And then when you add water, they don't look metallic to me at all. They just look like your standard watercolour pencil shades. So... Yeah, they they look more metallic when they dry than they do when you've added water. So I'm not sure I would recommend them. Um, I bought them years and years ago, so they're still in my collection. I think there's only 12, so not a big set. Just check, are there 12? Yeah, there's 12. And then next we have, uh, you can see these are just like small, smaller sets, just trying them out. This one here is, oh, these are some... These are some spare super colours, but I'll show you my full set because I've got a full set of those. And then I got these, which I don't think I've got a swatch for. They're called Gold Faber Aqua, and they're the um, what do you call them? The um, pastel pastel set. Now these are very light. Now this is just copy paper, so you have to bear with the fact that it's not gonna. Um, it's not going to swatch as nice with this. So, let me just get a water brush. It's not the greatest paper to do it on. Oh, let's get this floor in a bit. It's gone to sleep. Squeezing it. And, yeah, I mean, it's okay it's not it's not great i mean i don't think i think i saw them on cult pens a few years back and i just thought oh pastel watercolor pencils they're all right you know what i mean they're just not um you know i'm not sure they I think they are definitely student grade gold faber but yeah the paper's not great um but yeah that's that's those i think it's only a 12 set anyway but yeah I think on better paper particularly on watercolour paper or even Joanna Basford paper I think they'll come out much better now the other pencils which I do really like actually I think they're quite good as watercolour pencils are the Stadler Carrot which are these I think these are really nice I have to say um, I got these quite a long time ago many years ago um, so they are German Germany based well of course they are because they're Stadler's but um, they do they have a name? I don't think they have a name they do have a number I think so I think I've got the 36 I only know that because I just looked at this and it said 36 what colour is it so yeah they are rather nice um, I think they're quite nice actually I'm not I think they're really quite nice. Yeah, there's some lovely colours, light colours. But yeah, they, they're good. Good pencils. If you want a little small set, I think they're not that expensive either, but they're fairly decent quality. Um, and then I have these, which are the... 48, is it? I'm not sure if I swatched these. Which is a shame, really, because... I should have. Yeah, these are the um, Derwent. 
I need to swatch these because actually I do quite like these. These are 48 Derwent watercolours and I have to say they are quite nice um, pencils. Um, sorry I haven't got a swatch of them but I like them. I mean you've got some lovely lovely light colours, you've got some absolutely gorgeous shades in, in this set. Eventually I might get the full set. I think these came in, in a actual a wooden box if I'm not mistaken and, and I took them out because I just don't use my pencils as much if they're in a wooden box I just don't they just take up too much space I guess and they're clunkier so this is e easier so I get more use out of them and that's what you want with your supplies you want to get as much use of them as possible so I really like these I do really like these and I think I am going to at some point get a bigger set providing they're not too expensive because I don't want to pay too much so yeah that's the Derwent ones so those are them and then next I have my big huge watercolour um, look at this look how, look how thick that is but that is this this is like my um, most used watercolour pencils so we're starting off with the absolutely stunning gorgeous expensive Caran d'Ache um, I've forgotten the bloody name Museum there you go Museum Aquarelle because I haven't used them for a while but you can see that I have had some use of them because they are one of my favourites so these are they remind me I know they're not ink but they do you know the vibrancy I think in my view, I might be wrong, but in my view these are as pigmented, some of the colours are as pigmented as the Derwent Ink Tents. So I think they're absolutely gorgeous. If you want a really, I mean they are very expensive, that's the only issue, well one of the main issues, they are very very expensive pencils, but they are really pigmented and there's some beautiful neutral and um, earthy type tones so they do lack a little bit let me just see if I can find a swatch they do lack a little bit with um, what's the word the with the pinks and stuff so quite a while back I decided that I was going to get the super colors because super colors is a much bigger set this is a 76 set this museum super colors I got because the shades of pinks are stunning and I thought it would work really well with the Caran d'Ache museums but anyway this is the swatch for the museums um, there are some stunning colors of course but I particularly like these chromium oxide green this moss green and this dark thalo cyanine green this really lovely colours and this cobalt green absolutely beautiful and look at these look at the range of neutral colours they're just great and of course you can get these open stock so um, you don't have to buy it all in one go you can choose which colours you like maybe get some open stock to complement your current set that is always an option with these sort of sets so um, then we have the super colours like I said these are I think they're in the same shades as the Pablo's if I'm not mistaken so you could use the Pablo's and the super colours together I guess but I really like these and the main reason I got this is because I wanted to get a big set of watercolour pencils so this is the biggest set I've got which is 120 well there is another one which I have uh, recently so um, lovely colours, the super colours are stunning, love them um, do I love them more than the museums? Um, by a whisker yeah I do um, I do think the museum aquarelles have got the edge but of course then you have to pay such a higher price for them um, so you know there is that as well but you've got more shades in here um, they are less costly really good pencils they are still quite expensive when you when you compare the range to say um some other brands so yeah lovely lovely colors and yeah those are them and then what i have is some 
Derwent graffiti tints. I love the graffiti tints. I haven't used them for a while, but um, I think I need to. There's some absolutely unique colours, I have to say. So I'm going to show you a swatch of those. So these are the Derwent graffiti tints. Look at the colours. You know when you want some unique colours, uh, this set would be brilliant. So those are the Derwent graffiti tints. And then... I wanted um, a bigger range of like the Derwent graphic tint types and I've got, I'm missing a couple, I, mean, I don't think I am missing a couple actually. There should, these are the Spectrum Noir, um, what are they called? Colour tints, that's it. Spectrum Noir colour tints and there's two sets of these. We have a primary, so there's 12 primary colours and these are a lovely addition. Uh, to you know the more muted shades the more unique shades special that you get with graffiti as well and then this is the nature 12 nature set I think there's only two sets of these uh, colour tints but you know I did buy these quite a while ago so I haven't kept up with any updates or anything but yeah they're more than enough colours for me anyway so those are them and then I came across these um, which I think are really lovely these are another Stedler. These are called uh, Stedler Tinted. I have to say, these are beautiful. They work so nicely. I'm just going to show you the, the swatch of those. Absolutely beautiful shades. They don't have na names, but they do have codes. So you can see these are all coded, but they're lovely colours. I think I just bought them off Amazon. Um, and yeah, those are my main pencils, my main, like, stash of watercolour pencils and then I have my most recent acquisition over time I have purchased um, open stock the Albert Jura watercolour pencils now if there was one watercolour pencil brand that I would suggest if you were looking for one then I have to go with this one because overall in terms of price in terms of uh, quality in terms of how they work um, I think these are the overall have to be the overall winner because they are beautiful absolutely beautiful they work really nice dry or um, activated but you can see here they are 120 sets so you know as big as the super colors I would I would personally um, I don't know why I haven't swatched a pink carmine there just a little bit weird. Maybe I forgot to swatch the the newest acquisition that I bought. So anyway, there's there's these and um, lovely shades of colours. The shades all match the polychromos, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which makes them absolutely perfect and ideal to use with your polys. You don't have to. I mean, you could always use your watercolour pencils and then use them dry on top, but they are stunning pencils definitely my overall winner if you were to ask me which one should you get which set would would i recommend from all my watercolor pencils it would be those they're very well made i mean the colors are stunning like quality everything and then i have these which are my not so good quality ones so, unfortunately but they are beautiful so I have to say they are beautiful so Prismacolor watercolor pencils um, I saw these quite a few years back um, and I think it's a 36 set they're not that easily available not in the UK anyway and the quality is not great C stay on that look it's like a big dent going all the way down I mean the quality it's just a bit disappointing considering that the actual um, the actual blend or the formulation they use for the actual pigment is stunning but it's just let down by the quality which is a shame but anyway I do love them they are still gorgeous shades they're just a bit frustrating because there's sometimes the lead breaks and you know you do have issues um, really pigmented just like the prisma colors beautifully uh, pigmented uh, there's just that issue with um, quality but then again 
you know, you have to, I guess, accept the whole thing as it is, isn't it? Which I do. But yeah, I I do really like these. Um, I have had a little bit of use out from them, but not as much as others because there are other pencils that are beautiful as well, watercolour ones. And then finally, the I purchased these. In fact, I haven't even done a haul. I haven't even included these in a haul. Uh, so these are probably my latest addition. These are the Distress watercolour pencils and I have not even really used them. I've just swatched them. I have to say they are, would I recommend them? I have to be honest. Um, at the price that they are and comparing them to other watercolour pencils, I don't think they're worth it. I have to be honest. They are nice and, and the reason why I bought them is because when I do Distress inks, when I use my Distress inks and I make a background with them, I can't get close to the image because I will go over the image with my blender tool. So if I have a similar colour in these Distress watercolour pencils, I will use these to go close to the image and then dissolve it with the water because that is going to give me a better finish. So that is the main reason that I purchased them. They are nice in terms of the colours. Um, I just think they're way too highly priced and and they are some much better you know if you were to buy a walk colour pencil set then there are so many other stunning walk colour pencils and these are woodless um they like the you know the what do you call them yeah they those woodless type things so it's a whole pigment so i do understand that they are expensive because you do get more pigment I guess for backgrounds they will be nice and I think they probably work better on watercolour paper as well than on non-watercolour papers. So on on colouring book paper like Joanna Basford's I think they'll work reasonably okay but they'll work the best on, um, on uh, watercolour paper but I can't, you know, I mean I bought them like I said for that particular reason um, but I need to use them more to give them a, you know a fairer deal really so I, I haven't fully made my mind up on them but I I do think there are lots of other watercolor pencils and this is 36 set so it costs 60 quid I think 65 pounds 60 pounds something like that 65 probably um, so yeah that's it those are all my watercolor pencils that I have um, I think I don't need to buy any more um, and then watch there's something new will come out and I'll be like yeah I need it I don't need it but I have I think a quite a good selection I'm very fortunate very, very grateful for that so yeah if you got to the end thank you so much for watching and uh, until next time guys take care happy colouring bye